Dave Grohl did something pretty cool. All right. Dave Grohl leaves huge money tip on a receipt at a bar. Dave Grohl recently went to the Rainbow Bar and Grill in Hollywood after a surprise Foo Fighters pop-up performance at the Cal Jam Festival. Grohl took photos and drank with fans at the bar, and he had quite the bill when he was done. His bill was $333.30, and he tipped $333, leaving a total after the tip of or $666.30. Only Dave Grohl could find a way to get his bill to 666. Pure rock and roll. The number of the freaking beast. Now, could he have taken it a step further and made it uh, $666.66? What if he would have done that? Like made it 36 cents? See how quick I did that math? I'm pretty proud of that, actually. Um, well, that was nice of him. You know? I mean, that, that, that was nice of him. That was good. I, um... If you're famous and you have money, you should always leave a good tip, in my opinion. You know, you should always be as generous as you can be. Um... But uh, that was pretty cool of him. He's like, I'm going to make your day today. Um, that's got to be pretty cool, having the money where you like you can make somebody freaking weak. Like, like that's got to feel so cool. Just knowing, like, you can make somebody's, like, hey, I just made your week because I'm going to tip you 100%. That's, and maybe they're a fan, too. Like, maybe they're a fan, so you've already made their, their week. Because they're like, I'm a big fan of you. That's awesome. And you're like, boom, 100% tip. You know? That's pretty cool. I wish I could tip like that. I wish... I, man. That's got to be amazing. So so that's cool that he did that. That's cool that he did that. And uh, I hope we get news when people do the opposite. We got to get news when, 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 when celebrities stiff people and stuff like that. Um, I've heard I've heard rumors about different public figures, not musicians actually, um, but different public figures that have done that. I'm not going to repeat it because I don't know if it's true or not. So I don't want to repeat like just kind of hearsay I heard. But um, you know, when I lived in Pittsburgh and a lot of my friends worked in the service industry, there were certain sports figures that uh, allegedly did not tip. Um, I don't know if that's true or not, so I don't want to repeat anything. But, uh, you know, that was some hearsay that I heard. All right, so that's some nice news. Dave Grohl did something cool. I think he lives here in Los Angeles. And I, I know, like, a lot of people, I like the Foo Fighters. I think they put on a great show. I'm a big Pat Smear fan. Uh, I know a lot of people, they, they can't get into the Foo Fighters. And I can see how someone wouldn't. I'm not, like, a huge, huge fan and their shows are very long, and I gotta admit, like, once it hit about two and a half hours, I was, I was ready for it to end. You know, like, they had played every song I wanted to hear, and I was like, all right, I'm, yeah, I'm ready for you guys to, to kind of put a period on this. You know, there's something to say for leaving us wanting more a little bit. But it was a fantastic show, and uh, to his credit, Dave Grohl, that was when he had the leg injury, so he was in, like, a Game of Thrones-type chair the whole time, and he freaking rocked it anyway. So, uh, and he sang great and he was sitting down and uh i have a harder time singing when i'm sitting down i sing poorly when i'm standing up and i sing more poorly when i'm sitting down so so anyway get your news on with ron don't you want to know what's going on we're getting our news on today get your news on with ron don't you want to know what's going on we're getting our news on today Go through it together and make it our own. Get you.